All right, this morning we are looking into the stars for a fall astrology forecast. The fall equinox promises to bring some major new beginnings. Astrologer and author Stephanie Campos is here. But before we get started, we want to remind you these are interpretations of planetary patterns, not scientific fact. Put that out there. Stephanie, thank you for coming. Welcome back. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I have the first question, number one, and it says, first up, you have some predictions for Craig and I. I oh, do. Nervous. Okay, let's start with you, Chanel. Oh, so okay. there's two dates that are coming up. There's a full moon in Aries on September 29th okay. and a solar eclipse in Libra on October 14th. Okay. And these are taking place on your financial axis. So this is a cosmically aligned time for you to ask for a raise. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> You may be redoing you your budget. Yeah. And this is somebody called Caesar. And if you're Listen. taking on new projects or contracts around this time, it's really important for you to advocate for your value, your talents, and your work. What day is that? Where's my phone? September 29th. <laughs> September 29th. Friday. Yes. Next Friday. And October 14th. You guys remind me, tweet me. Next okay. Friday, it's a big day. All right. How about and me? If Chanel's Craig. coming into money, why am I going to do that? I take your money. October is <laughs> going to be a She's very busy month for you. So you may be attending exciting social events. Maybe you have some travel plans. I do. Okay, it's a great time to connect with family and friends. And also sign up for a class if you want to learn something new. I don't want to learn anything new. No. Okay. But, I, I, <laughs> but if I did, I would do it in October. Yes. So I have a question because I remember the last time you were here, you said September 4th was going to be a, a big day. Mm -hmm. So I wrote it down in uh -huh. my calendar. I knew, and I, I knew this wondered. was coming. <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, how hard and fast are those days? And am, am I not looking for the Listen, right thing? Listen, this girl texts us uh, the morning <laughs> and she's like, guys, it's my day. my day. So there are windows of time. So okay. sometimes it's leading up or mm. it can be after. But you can't predict everything with astrology. For right. example, I recently found out that I'm pregnant. Whoa. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. And I didn't see it coming in the stars. But I do have That's a fall awesome. prediction for you. Okay. And so hopefully I can redeem myself. Okay. On November 13th, there's a new moon in Scorpio, and this is taking place on your rising sign. Mm -hmm. Now, the rising sign is all based on the moment you took your first breath, so it's a very sensitive point in the chart. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a great time for new beginnings, initiating new projects, redefining yourself, okay. and even advocating for your needs and desires in your important relationships. Okay, okay. November 13th. Yeah. Advocating has been an important thread, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I'll also say my whole luggage drama, I'm just going to bring up more stuff. My whole luggage drama, they actually explained this to you. Yes. And there were dates where it's not surprising that this happened. It was so fascinating. <laughs> I'm a total astrology nerd, so it was, but it was absolutely fascinating. So you lost your luggage on July 21st. Oh. Yeah. That was right when Stop. Venus, the planet of that represents clothing, went retrograde. Retrogrades bring to delays, setbacks, mm -hmm. and travel mix-ups. Okay. You're a Leo. Yes. That retrograde took place in the sign of Leo, so it would have impacted you the most intensely. Mm. Then, and it did. Yes. And then there's Mars, which is this planet of frustration, and it was hitting a very sensitive I'm point I'm on Mars chart. right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it would have meant that that day, mm. some sort of irritating or annoying personal situation would have come up in your life. Mm -hmm. Now, the day that the luggage was returned to you, the sun, which is a planet of illumination, mm -hmm. was at the same exact point Mars was at. So it was tracing over those steps. Okay. And it brought clarity and resolution to your to luggage the... saga. Is that not incredible? Stephanie, next time you come, you should charge Dylan <laughs> your hourly rate. Because we're gonna, clearly, we're gonna she leave. thinks you're her personal well, astrologist. I just find that all fascinating. So October, to just be clear, lunar eclipse and solar eclipse, which I, I gather is pretty uncommon, what, what does that mean, if anything? So eclipses, we have them every year. So that is to be expected. But they're like supercharged full moons and new moons. So mm -hmm. they interweave our fate and our destiny. So on October 14th, we have the new moon solar eclipse in Libra. We have not had one since October of 2004. So it's been a while. So what does that mean? Well, it's a new moon. So this is a new beginning, a fresh mm -hmm. start. And Libra is the sign of relationships. So maybe a new faded relationship or connection is forming in our life around that time. And then we have a lunar eclipse on October 28th in the sign of Taurus. Oh, that's my sign. That's right. And we oh, have I not understand. had one. We won't have one again until 2031. So oh, this wow. is the last lunar eclipse in Taurus for a while. Wow. And 
it will bring us back to November 8th of last year because that's the last time we had a lunar eclipse mm -hmm. in Taurus. So similar themes or topics, whatever was going on in your life around that time may come up again. Stephanie, thank you. And congratulations. And congratulations. Thank you. So exciting. Thank you so much. Hey, all you have to bring your, well, I'm not going to ask you. What are you doing? What are you having? I won't do all that. From, a little Aries. Oh, you want oh, me that's too? Awesome. Today.com slash astrology for more. Today.com slash astrology. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.